With its majestic Mughal architecture and sprawling lush green lawns, Lahore was once known as the capital of gardens. But as the population rose, the city's landscape was also vandalized by unchecked and haphazard construction. And now, residents seem accustomed to ugliness and chaos. Piles of garbage, traffic jams, the air and noise pollution. Amongst the more disturbing eyesores are the graffiti like this that the walls of the city end up being stained with, often consisting of communal and sectarian hatred. Stained by vulgar language, the city's walls have seen layers of filth mounted over the years. But commuters recently came across a pleasant surprise. Instead of graffiti, there are now paintings. This is Mudassir Zia, the man behind the wall paintings initiative in Lahore. We want to change the look of the walls. When we go outside in the streets, we see the wall chopping, representing advertisement of different people, companies, some local doctors, and government slogans. Uh, after so many months, uh, we decided to paint them, to give them words, to give them, uh, you can say, a new look for the people, so they can speak with the people, with the common people, a people who are going through the streets, and they want to know what's positive happening in the Pakistan. In 2010, Mudassir and his team put up an art competition in Lahore. They used social media to gather like-minded volunteers from around the city. They called on anyone who wanted to paint. There are many people who are doing engineering degree or doing MBBS or doing CA, but they want to paint. So we decided not to restrict this event for only artists, professional artists. We want every person to come outside so that every person have a contribution for the society, for Pakistan. And people responded. The volunteers were initially divided into 60 teams, each with the desire to save their city's walls. Mudassar says that at first, passers-by thought they were a bunch of madmen. Even uh, the local government was totally shocked when we put the idea that we want to paint the walls, we want to remove the wall choking, and they were saying, what will you do? How will you do? This low-cost initiative has brought together thousands of artistically inclined adults and children to improve the face of their city. They say it is a way for them to reclaim the walls of their city from messages of hatred and ugliness. The wall art is located at several crossroads throughout Lahore. There were very bad messages, political, religious, debates and stuff like that. So it was very, very uh, disturbing for the people to see that. It was some people would write very bad things with I can't say. So we wanted to clean it all up. We wanted to clean Pakistan. We wanted to re-create uh, the walls of Lahore. The walls are now painted with exuberant images from the abstract to the metaphorical. Each and every painting here has a message. Every person who passes by these walls will relate to the paintings in some way or the other. What we are doing is not wall chalking. We are spreading messages of peace, knowledge and harmony through color. I think it is a continuous way of conveying a message. I mean, when you watch television, the images come and go. But these walls remain here and constantly pass on positive messages. But in a mostly conservative society, initiatives like this are rarely accepted. 
Mudassir's team faced opposition and criticism, which they countered with paintings of positive and patriotic images of Pakistani culture and famous personalities. In 2011, uh, some mullahs uh, come at, at the place and they ask us why you are doing this, why you are going to remove the slogans related to their madrasa. But we convinced them. We convinced them that okay, you write on the walls about your madrasa or any other thing or any other conference, that's not a right place to write this thing. Posters must be displayed on the cardboards, on the boards that are specifically for these things. So they agreed for that. It is not just a painting extravaganza. The team also hopes to educate people by painting messages of public service. There are always different themes around here. Where we focus on education, uh, rights for women, poverty, poverty alleviation, and uh, you see cultural impacts of Pakistan, cultural aspects of Pakistan, and how can uh, we promote different uh, good habits and good norms in Pakistan. Surprisingly, no one has so far tampered with the painted walls, a sign that the initiative has gained public acceptance. Mudassar hopes this would have a chain effect and that people in other cities would also save their country from hate and toxic ideologies that have been allowed to seep into the social fabric far too deeply. For Assignment Asia, I'm Daniel Khan in Lahore, Pakistan.